everyone, I'm going to talk about Fibonacci numbers. Fibonacci numbers is, have you ever wondered if math actually applies in plants? Well, it does. Fibonacci, it, uh, plants use Fibonacci numbers. Fibonacci numbers is, is a math concept. First, before I start, let me tell you what Fibonacci numbers are. Fibonacci numbers are a sequence of numbers which are which you have to add the number before. So 0 plus 1 equals 1, 1 plus 1 equals 2, 2 plus 1 equals 3, 3 plus 2 equals 5. So, and it keeps going on. Um, Pingla in 200 BC found the Fibonacci numbers and got popularized by Leonardo in 1475 AD. Leonardo found it with, with his rabbit experiment and his bee experiment. And he <coughs> named it Fibonacci because um, his last name was Fibonacci. The golden ratio. So let me let me give you a few examples of how how the how um, Fibonacci numbers are related to plants. So as as you can see over here, there there are a few flowers. These these few these few flowers actually use Fibonacci numbers because look at the petals. Um, so this petal, this flower, there there's one Fibonacci number. I mean, there's one petal. So there's uh, one is a Fibonacci number. And here, there's two petals. Two is a Fibonacci number, three petals. Three is a Fibonacci number, five petals. Five is a Fibonacci number, and so on. And so, now I'm going to talk about the golden ratio. The golden ratio is 1.618. <coughs> Um, as when you when you divide two Fibonacci numbers that are close to each other, um, you you get a number, and that, and so I divided fifty five by thirty four, and I got one point six one seven, which is really close to um one point six one eight. So that's not exactly what we want. So then I tried six thousand seven hundred sixty five divided by four thousand one hundred eighty one, which was one one point six one eight. So as you go as as the numbers go bigger, you go closer to one point six one eight. This is useful in, in leaves because when you divide the golden ratio, which is 1.618, by 360 degrees, um, you get 222.49 um, degrees. This is useful in leaves because if, if we didn't have this thing, this um, 222.49, which is called the golden angle, um, we, we, would, we, we would be thinking that... <clears throat> the leaves grow on top of each other, but they actually don't. Because look, when the sunlight comes on, when the sunlight comes on top of one leaf, the the leaf on on the bottom won't get any sunlight. So the leaf on the bottom will start dying and eventually fall off. But now that we have the golden angle, we can actually measure <coughs> the um, leaves. So that we can, the leaves are actually placed in a certain angle where we can measure the leaves so that they all get sunlight, the equal number of sunlight. So that's when, that's when the, t t the golden angle comes in. So I made a cutout of the golden angle right here. So if you measure this, it will be a cutout. So when I, if I put my um, marker like right here, you can actually see that it actually goes to two of the leaves. So it actually... Um, it's correct. It's it's, it's correct. It's two two hundred twenty two point four nine degrees away from each other. So, what's the, what's the um, uh, why is it so good? Because when the sunlight comes, it can equally spread to all of them. I see that. Okay, now maybe if you observe very closely, you could see some of them are overlapping. That's not a problem because leaves don't. Um, these don't need lots of sunlight. Like they don't need the whole leaf doesn't need sunlight. If it has sunlight in a specific, like most most of the area, it's fine. Then it have more. So now I wanted to t talk about Fibonacci squares and spirals. So the Fibonacci first, let me talk about Fibonacci squares. The Fibonacci the Fibonacci squares are when one plus one equals two. They both are Fibonacci numbers. All three. And then three and uh, <coughs> one plus two equals three. And three plus one plus one equals five. And five plus one plus one plus two equals eight. And what is the what is the good thing about this, you may ask? That's what I'm going to tell you. So first the first step is that you draw a spiral around all of the corners of the um squares. And after that you just observe. 
So observe how this um, galaxy uses the Fibonacci spirals. As you can see, the two small squares we started with are these four squares. So there's actually two of these Fibonacci um, patterns over here. So here's the first one, and here's the second one. So th that's the that's the Fibonacci pattern in the galaxy. And the Fibonacci pattern, the few other places the Fibonacci pattern comes in is um, is cyc cy cy cyclones. Um, Seashells or snail shells, um, caterpillars, eggs, which is amazing, and um, the Asian map, which is which is like really amazing. So the Fibonacci numbers are used in many things, and it's also used in porcupine. No, not porcupines. Why am I saying pineapple? Pineapple. No, that's not a pineapple, ma. Oh, sorry. This no, one it's is. a pine corn. No, yeah. Yeah. what it is? Pine corn. Pine. No, I said pine corn. Mm, it's, it's acorn. No, pine cone. Mm -hmm. uh, the pine cone uses 13 spirals, as you can see. So, one, two, three, four, five, and then so on. I, I am saying backwards, but it doesn't matter. Um, so, after that, you use the sunflower. The sunflower, this is the same picture. So, the sunflower use, <coughs> uses the Fibonacci number because there's 55 or 34 or more. Um, Fibonacci spirals in um, the uh, sunflower, and um, the most the most important of all, fruits. Most of the fruits use Fibonacci numbers beca be because because um, bananas bananas use Fibonacci numbers because the bananas have three parts. So the first part, there's actually three seeds. So you can actually determine with the three seeds how many, like if it's a Fibonacci number or not. So, but there's also a cantaloupe. Cantaloupe uses, it has a five, it has five seeds. The five, the, the five seeds will, uh, um, the five seeds indicate how many sections there is in a cantaloupe. But the most important fruit of all is the the most important fruit of all is the pineapple. The pineapple is very important because the pineapple actually, if you see all the buds in the pineapple, there will actually be 13 in each spiral, and there will be 13 spirals. And that's very rare to have two of the, um, two, um, the same Fibonacci number twice in the same fruit. Mm -hmm. So thank you for listening. And this is my mentor, Alexius Luke Andrews, slash my dad. Yo.